just in 10 minutes we are going to discuss about using power query to automate repetitive tasks as well as using the right visual to highlight the result the idea is not to fight with the data just play it cool if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe Here is the scenario. I am working for an insurance broking company. At the end of every month, I will be getting a statement in an Excel sheet like this, in which there will be narratives about insurance company names. For example, insurance company one, from whom I may have to receive a commission, as in the receivable column, and what might have been received by me will be shown in the received column. i need to find out what is the outstanding and then top 5 companies in terms of outstanding amount because i am dealing with more than one company and within that amount which type of policy is maximum pending so i need to identify a couple of factors to be presented to my management to my boss and my boss is a demanding boss there are a few conditions if the value in the premium column is zero exclude such rows from calculations if the value in commission rate column is zero exclude such rows from calculations however if these values are later changed from zero to some other numerical value then such rows should be included in the calculations i am also expected to create a new column to show pending commission if any and if there is no pending commission from a specific insurance company the report should exclude it from being shown in the report let us quickly check some problems in the excel sheet i have a blank row to start with as you can see in the row number 1 there is no entry then against every insurance company name i have rest of the columns with the blank values then at the end of the last line item for first company before the second company name starts i have another blank row so these are some of the problems that i face in the excel sheet owing to which it is very difficult to create a report as expected by my boss in excel also when i go to the data for september 2023 i do have a huge amount of data running up to 16591 rows however the columns are same and the setup is same the only issue is in the previous example august 2023 i am showing you a simple data for insurance company 1 and insurance company 2 whereas the data for september 2023 is for more number of companies maybe for october i will be having one more company or there could be two companies that i stop doing business with so the data will be changing every month the only consoling point is that the format of the data the layout of the data is going to be the same with that being the scenario let me pull the data for august 2023 into a power bi file and let us see what can be done with the power query editor in the power query editor i am going to perform a couple of cleaning activities for example i can see that the very first row item shows a null value so i am going to make use of an option called remove rows and remove top rows I just need to remove the very first row so I type one inside the box click okay and the second step that I am going to perform is I want the entries in line number 1 to be captured as headers so use first row as headers that is the second step I perform and in the third step I look at the serial number column when I hover my cursor I could see an option called remove empty I am going to remove the empty items from here In the fourth step I look at the data type for the serial number column which says alpha numeric for obvious reasons I want to convert this into a text value you may be interested to ask me a question hey raja why are you changing this to a text format you will get the answer in a few seconds let me now speak about one thing i don't want this row number 2 to show 1 2 3 4 etc rather i want them to show insurance company 1 and then from this row onwards i want the entry called insurance company 2 and so on which cannot be done here so what i am going to do is i am going to click on add column click on a custom column and then i am going to create a column header called company then i am going to type a formula the formula says if 
text dot length of sn column now you will understand why this was converted into a text if that is greater than 5 assuming that i am not going to have serial numbers greater than say 99999 i am using 5 here that can be changed in case of requirement so if this condition is going to be true then i want to get the value of sn within this column else just give me a null value the moment i am going to click ok you can see a new column has been created in which the numbers called 1, 2, 3, etc. that was available in the serial number column are now replaced with null values. For this newly created column, from the transform tab, I am going to use the option called fill and then down. Then you can see that the name of the insurance company is populated in the null values. Insurance company 1, insurance company 2 and so on. As a next step, I am going to right click on the column header and then move this to the beginning. Now you can see that the company name has become the item number one in the table. This column is no more needed. I am going to remove this. Considering the conditions that were given by my boss, I am going to the reference number column and get rid of null values. And then similarly in the premium column, would like to get rid of zero values because that was one of the conditions. Similarly for commission rate column also, I am going to get rid of zero values. Finally, I am going to create one more column by clicking on add column and then custom column would like to call the column as outstanding which is nothing but the difference between receivable amount and the amount that was received let me click ok and you can see the new column is created then i'm going to change the type of the data to decimal number and finally if the outstanding is zero the condition says don't even show the company name in the report so i'm going to filter out those zero values here as the last step going to click ok now you can see there are only 13 qualified entries out of say 50 or 60 rows in the excel sheet let me do a quick check now i am back to my excel sheet and in a particular row item called just note me policy the premium amount was previously zero i'm going to change it to let us say 5000 and the commission rate is somewhere around it. 10%. I'm going to save the file. Would like to check whether this is going to be included now in the calculations. So when I hit on refresh, you will be able to see just note me policy is now included. So the condition as per my company norms is now fulfilled in this mechanism. And now comes the million dollar question. Raja, what you are going to do with the data for September 2023 in which you have more number of insurance company names and more row items. I'm just going back to my Power Query editor. Would like to check on the query span. I have a query called August 2023 that I'm going to duplicate and then I'm going to rename that as September 2023. Yes, Raja, you have duplicated the query called August 2023 to September 2023. That's right, but only 14 entries are available here. Now, for this second query, I'm going to click on the Applied Steps Navigation button. Then I'm going to change the name of the sheet from August 2023 to September 2023. Hit Enter. Let me go to the last line item. Then I'll be able to see insurance company 1, insurance company 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Let me hit close and apply. Then I can see September 2023, all the items are loaded here. Oh my God, this is pretty cool. Yes, that is why I told you that start playing with the Power Query instead of fighting with Excel. For October 2023, once your data comes, you just do the same activity in a minute your data is loaded. Now comes the crucial part of creating a visual that can highlight what needs to be seen by my boss. I have initially created two donut charts, one of them showing the top five companies by outstanding amount that has been filtered for top 10 values. And the other chart is showing the top five policy type by outstanding amount. My boss is not happy with the visual. He's asking a question. Raja, which is the top most company, insurance company 20? that I am able to see now by hovering my cursor from the tooltip. When I click here, the other chart is showing something else that is okay, but I am not clear what exactly this is showing. That is the comment from my boss. So, to satisfy him, I just click on the previous chart, go to format, click on edit interaction 
and for the second visual i am using an option called filter then when i click on the topmost company insurance company 20 click then i am able to see something clear which means that for the company called 20 the maximum amount is withhold in motor private car package policy this is slightly good but uh, my boss is still not happy so he is uh, motivating me to come out with the right visual and then i thought okay boss i'm going to present you with uh, yet another visual called uh, a stacked bar chart in which you will see what exactly you want so here i'm able to see the topmost uh, pending amount is from insurance company 20 and the total amount is shown over there out of which when i hover my cursor i could see the motor private car package policy is the topmost value just by looking at the width of this particular segment insurance company 5 is the second largest company where i need to get my amounts in which office package policy is the maximum defaulter so i'll be able to see exactly just the name of the company within which i'll be able to see the breakup as expected by my boss i believe I have delivered what I told you right in the beginning and you just saw the demonstration. You have just watched JTM 10 video. You should have identified ways to automate repetitive tasks using a Power Query. In addition, you have witnessed how important it is to use the right visual to show what is expected from the data. Let us start playing with our data using Power Query. Your comments on the usefulness of this video will help us to improve. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next demonstration.